hello this is dio and welcome back to a personal code of conduct i am so like excited this is like week 12 i don't know is dio counting of like being consistent and every week even though like I, my research is still sort of trash some weeks are better than others even though <laughs> i still was the word i still i'm still shit at editing I, I i only tried to edit like once so you see like the breaking voice and the annoying stuff so like but then again welcome back week 12 i think as if it turns out to be week 11 i'm not taking this out let's know that shit here so what will we be what will we be talking about this week um the topic is i and us yeah i and us when should we when should we separate them and when should we be together like when should they be separated and when should they be together i and us i think a lot of people need to understand that because i'm a big proponent like oh fuck i'm a big proponent of ubuntu and i like the fact that it reminds us that we are dependent on each other but it also points out the fact that we are unique so this thing is going to be very this particular episode is going to be very what's the word um very focused on like the ubuntu sides of things because uh, accepting the fact that we all depend on each other and the choices that society makes influences our thoughts even when you are doing something radical it's usually like a reaction against of or for something that happens to you so like everything we do is because of other people and it's not and people shouldn't really feel bad because they are influenced by other people but they should not forget that they are individuals so yeah that's what we'll be going through looking at we'll be looking at where i is important and where we should realize that us us is important so that will be it I think the first thing is to separate success from failure. Now, okay, hear me out. I this isn't properly planned, so Dio is just trying to go freestyle and not really properly editing. But let's look at it from personal experience. Like, especially as Africans, we realize that a lot of times we hold on, we hold on to like the way the world we feel the world perceives us because each individual's perception of us even though they might be highly similar because of a group of people have similar experiences it is still different it might be just one aspect that makes this human being different from the other it's still different painfully similar but still different because they all didn't have the same experiences so like in the end like as i keep saying like as as a human being we understand that some you understand that sometimes you just want to i don't know you just want to farms i think the exact word is like you want to farms that is like the slang word you want to feel like you are the one that did it when somebody like you or somebody that you relate to or somebody that you feel has the same experience as you succeed and when you are so obsessed with that person's success the failure of another person that looks like you that acts like you makes you feel like like what it makes you feel like the world is going to be against you now like like you are tied to this person because you were so attached to another person's success now you find yourself attached to another person's failure even when you try to extract yourself from that situation and and sometimes people extracting themselves from that situation it leads to like this form of denial where they like totally pretend as if they are not part of that society it's often common like like people who are currently facing like societal challenges or they find themselves rejected by the larger society so they they end up some people end up deciding to completely reject the sub society that is facing the same thing as them like how some people who completely try to act like okay they are other nigerians are the problem when they are around foreigners or they try to act like oh like we black americans and some of them try to act like other black america they are not like the others the pick me people basically and and that's common when larger the larger society around you like in the case of nigerians the world and in the case of black americans the rest of america is against people is against your a sub society that you belong to so in that kind of situation you a lot some people react to it by becoming a pick me person because they find themselves tied to that society and i think it's important for people to recognize that you are a member of your society 
but being when you are so tied to the success and failures of that society you either go drastically against or drastically for when somebody is questioning the values of your sub society so to speak i think i'm being confusing how i put this in a situation where like um because anytime i see on instagram especially all these black american pages and because nigerians try we're doing that at one point and we still do that once in a while but like we have like so much good news about nigerians in diaspora that it's kind of expected at this point so like i see situations where like some things that are just naturally amazing regardless of of like whoever did it they always try to like um a lot of pages of minority always try to attach the fact that the person that succeeded is black or the person that succeeded is like them and i understand that that's one thing but i don't think it should be used as a way to what's the word um to uplift people to try and show it like showing them representation it feels like it's being forced down their throats that why must this person be singled out as different why must they be the first black why can't they just be the first and in, in that kind of situation I think people should take a more subtle approach to rep- representation because if somebody sees a black doctor, well, that's a black doctor, not like announcements on the newspaper, a black doctor, like, are you trying to say that this is a rare sight? People should just randomly see them and you should be able to relate to somebody who looks like you. You should be able to match, like, organizations, where, like, those kind of organizations, rather than be like a black doctor did, a, a black doctor did that, they should focus on any young person that wants to be a, like a any young person in their society a society that looks like them and their ethnic society are be able are able to be connected to adults who have reached their diff- dreams and look like them so that they can properly understand the challenges that they will face by being part of their ethnic minority or ethnic majority or wherever like by being part of their own sub society like but i think this is me just going off and wasting space because so where does this tie into the i and us vibe where does this tie into the i and us vibe like when you are so obsessed when you tie in aggressively to the success of somebody you become you feel become dragged when somebody else who looks like who is a member of your society sub society feels and i don't think that that is not a healthy way to look at it it's important to recognize that i want to be happy for this person i want to be glad about the fragrance of the recognition of people from my sub society from my side from my from my ethnic group or from i want to be i'm going to be happy for that individual i'm happy for him not us he is he i'm happy for him not us because one person cannot change the narrative it has to be like a lot of us when so when you're having a large amount of something or so or somebody with a large amount of power this or a group of people with a large amount of power decides to forcefully change the narrative by forcing it not really forcing by like slowly the key thing about when you're trying to choke something off you are you want to make it a subconscious like okay this is natural this is expected this is how certain people act because this is what you're exposed to especially if you don't have a real world reference for that kind of person that's why it's important and like whatever sub society and sub societies you can be part of so many sub societies and some and sub societies like i said before are not just one particular thing you cannot just say like for example i'm nigerian i am Negroid. I don't know what's the exact word. I don't know. That's a scientific word. I'm Nigerian. I'm black. I'm Yoruba. I'm 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 a woman. <laughs> I can't believe I'm a woman, not a sheep, not like a girl, but like a proper woman, a young woman, but a woman. Um, I'm what am I again? Like I'm I don't know. I I, I if I, orientation I don't know yet <laughs> because like Daya is just Daya doesn't have the energy for a relationship so like that doesn't exactly know what she actually likes probably nothing eh, that's a side thing um what else i don't think i've been very impactful and that is something that i want to like properly work on and being able to like streamline this stuff but maybe like i don't know i keep starting a lot of stuff that i may not finish and this has gone off and this has gone off but always remember that you are you you are i and i shouldn't be so obsessed 
with what members of your society your sub society is doing because if you are not because because how like this how will i describe it your people in whatever sub society you are in are always going to be attacked by the larger society based on the common the stereotypes that have spread out from your people so understanding that you are an individual but also understanding that people may not see you as an individual helps you live go through life and ha- helps you react to things take this as an intro of dire being lost and fucked up guy we for big i for s- I for small or I for a section of the big we for big like no I remember the last time or the I one of the previous podcasts I know I've definitely mentioned it before where I mentioned it before where I was like society is what's the word society is a group of people you are society we are society we are all society a drop of water makes no difference to a bucket but a bowl of water makes difference to that bucket. It's like it's shocking enough that the rest of the that the the rest of the bucket is changed forever. Like a bowl of water, remember a bowl of water is shocking enough that the rest of the bucket is changed forever. But I think I don't think that's a great analogy because um what do you call it? Water cannot just up and move to the next bowl. Let's just say a drop of water dyed red i think is not enough to change the whole bucket but a bowl or maybe depending on the kind of influence depending on the level of power depending on what exactly the situation is a spoon to a bowl or a small bowl of colored water is what is good, can change the entire color of the bucket yeah, i think that's a better analogy than taking out bowls of water it's about the coloring of the bowls so it's like how i is i is a small section near insignificant part of society you can become more significant the more the smaller your sub society is for example i'm still an insignificant member of the like black society i'm an insignificant member of the nigerian society i'm an insignificant member of the um Yoruba society i'm an insignificant member of the Lagosian society but like in something like a club of 10 people or a group chat or a even a group of atpb can be insignificant uh, or a group chat or a, like or a project or like a small project team or i don't know whatever other thing or a, or a marriage or a marriage or a family you are enough to cause a ripple you are enough to cause a large change you are enough for that sub society for that small society to completely change because you are a significant portion of that society this is where i come into the idea that it's important that we recognize that we we does big things and i do small things <laughs> we we does big things like we is an expression of all of us we is an expression of the complete society and if we want to change something we have to gather i have to like if i want to change something according to my ideals i have to gather enough of we do you get uh i get saying we do you get but like i feel like a fucking preacher when i have those like landed punchlines but where were we i should like if i want to change the large section of society if i want to make a major change we like to heal certain heroes we like to say they did certain things maybe for individual scientific discoveries that are improving life it's possible to do that i but that is a small segment that is built like i think was it einstein or was some random dude i don't know the one child who, whichever dude said they were standing on the shoulders of giants that's why he can see far like if i want to do anything I need we to do it with me that's why it's important to influence people that's why it's important to make people do things because a lot of, especially in different segments of a society because 
different sub societies have diff- are so complex i'm just like how are human how are we not crazy <laughs> when you sit down and think about everything but that's the thing we don't sit down and think about everything like sometimes you might be part of a movement that you're insignificant you just you're a foot soldier and you just follow what the leader says is that a crime no it's, it's not a crime to be a foot soldier but it's also important to recognize that sometimes some things is some things can be destructive and it's important to step back and it's be easier to step back especially when you're a foot soldier because if they want to kill somebody okay i like but if they want to kill somebody it's the leader but if there's going to be like casualties it's going to be the foot soldiers but like when you're looking at it on like a scale of individuals you'll be like okay a foot soldier can just leave this place and be like they're not doing this anymore <laughs> die on the likes says we for big things i do your own part for the big thing especially like just be like part of a well-oiled machine so i think that is a very good like distinction from i and we we does big things i do their own parts i does his own or her own part i don't know i wish i was better it's like being awesome okay i basically i took a break and slept and was weird but nobody will know why did i even mention that so on this segment we'll be talking about why influence is more important than intelligence like i know like this whole thing was a separation of i and us but a lot of things us is us we are, like i is part of us so a lot of people used to be like why don't people just listen why isn't there the, like why don't you just why don't you, they just agree with science this like crossed my mind when somebody was complaining about like america's rise in anti-intellectualism i like, coming from a country where <laughs> we're not exactly like in the top anywhere because a lot of things like people believe in what they call it the supernatural people believe in the enemy so to speak and people are more likely to act on those things rather than trying to like change their actual situation eh i have my moments but like i re- i realized that it's not about like it, it's not about being knowing the right in quotes things because in the end like let me try and sneak in a bit of optimistic analysis in the grand scheme of things everybody is wrong like it doesn't matter who was right we, are, we all have like under a hundred years on like okay unless like yeah one kind of special person we all have like relatively under a hundred years which isn't much in the history of humanity which isn't much in the history in the history of the earth which isn't much which it isn't and one is not much in the presence of seven billion like yes you can be like the the face of this of one point something billion like let's say you were the I don't know the president they call their person president or leader you're sure like the leader of china or something you could be the face but you cannot be the leader i it's not possible for him to have like total say and control about everybody else like the inner circle the inner circle a group of people like a dictator might think he has total and absolute control it's usually the people whispering to his ear the people not just one person that actually have the control because people are not like an island unto themselves we depend on the opinions on other people we depend on and some people that want to be contrarians i feel like the word is contrarian their opinion is basically an opinion their reaction is 100 percent anything you don't want that is how they decide to react in the end they still are subject to your reaction they are still subject to your opinions because even though their own reaction their own interpretation of being part of society is to do the opposite thing at all times so where was i where was all this going i was trying to say that influence is more important than intelligence the person was complaining about like american anti-intellectualism and how people are anti-vaxxers and flat earthers are everywhere and when i saw that comment it just came to my mind that it's about like going back to the thing about the red drop of water and the bucket of something you might be the the bright the brightest red of great knowledge a bowl of green is going to poison the bucket you and your one drop of red will do nothing so influence is more important than intelligence if anybody thinks they're an island unto themselves even if they have the right theory 
the fact that they are unable to influence people they are unable to get people on their side is pointless like all their research all their everything is pointless if you are unable to get the rest of society to agree with you and by rest of society i'm not talking about the whole world it can be your sub. it's most like for most people the rest of society is their sub society do you get i keep saying do you get <laughs> like someone is next to me the rest of society for example in a nigerian situation how do we get people how do we even become a developed country i think that is a wide a really really large amount of things made of complex topics so it's important let's say there's an industry that you want to improve that's a good place to start you decide that you want to improve this industry and you're going to find out how you're going to get the influence are are you going to try and get it from the government or are you going to sub try as much as possible to ensure that the, the government is completely separate from your plans in order to ensure success either way your plan is success whether or not whether or not you want to include the government ah, dio. so more on influence is more important than intelligence like everybody keeps saying that how do all these shitty politicians how do you get into power because they influence people they might not know what the fuck they are saying but the fact that there are people on this earth that are willing to believe them and it doesn't mean that those people are stupid like that's one thing i need people to realize that i don't think anybody is stupid i think people react based on their experiences and people use those experiences to manipulate them if there are enough people with similar experiences then they are more likely to react to the same kind of manipulation in my opinion i think i don't know sort of another example let's say um all this super group or like it's not super group is actually a legitimate brand um skincare brand group like um gonna pass through this group with her pseudoscience so it's like if the fact that she's seen a lot of buyers the business is booming is the fact that a lot of people don't have time to research it stuff so, like at first i wanted to get on a high horse a high skincare horse so i'm like oh people should just google the ingredients i didn't do that i I looked at when i first started my skincare journey i just wanted to follow somebody who was ethical and just get their products and when i felt that those products were not moving were not um showing me showing me the changes i needed fast enough i just turned to another product because i felt like okay um so far i'm not using it with the intent to bleach my skin i'm supposed to use it for a certain period of time it should be fine it wasn't fine it fucked up my skin because i didn't know the ingredients i was just so focused on products without having money do you get like when you don't have money you want to get i know this is off point but it ties in trust me when you don't have money but you know that okay you need a sunscreen you need an exfoliator you need a treatment serum i need a moisturizer i got the cheaper versions of all those things like the ones that are available to me in my society I, at first i went for an ethical brand but like their stuff was too it didn't have a lot of actives and it focused more on like being pure and organic so like i knew that within like five years my skin would be where i want it to be but like i couldn't fucking wait for five years who the fuck wants to do that so like i went i was trying to look for like cheaper versions of products that i would heard about but like so even so that like experience reminds me when i tried to get on a high horse like why are people not sitting down to google one of the 50 fucking ingredients in their skincare products like why are people not sitting down to do that and i'm like because it's fucking hard and people have other shit to do with their lives like it's that experience that helped me get off my high horse and be like oh oh my god why are people uh, why are people not why are people doing crazy shit like putting this on their skin like even when it's like they, are, they don't have the intention or they have not fallen into the market ploy. and this also falls into beauty in the sense that if you can influence people that a certain thing is beautiful then it becomes beautiful like looking at like older 2000s like video vixens and you compare them to the modern video vixens their faces will be pleasant i think a a beautiful face will always be pleasant their faces will be pleasant but it wouldn't be video vixen material because you we already use and by video vixen material i'm talking about american because i think nigerian video vixens are very accessible looking like 
beautiful women that i could probably see on the road that kind of they're accessible because our country is not rich so when they use beautiful women in video vixens unless they just use one random like when they use beautiful women in 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 like see unless she's the main celebrity they're actually the kind of girls you can see on the road depending on what part of the state you are in though i know this is like off point but like that's like that experience made me not judge people because i didn't even cross my mind to sit down and read those products i just felt okay this thing is now that approved if um if i'm using it in the right use case like i don't use it for long periods of time and i stop when my face is even it will be fine no it wasn't fine i was over exfoliated like my first experience in nyc it burned the fuck on my skin thank god for ori my second experience was um i was over exfoliated because it had too much aha in it and i was using it morning and night like what the fuck like who does that kind of shit and my sunscreen and i wasn't like as diligent with sunscreen use and sun protection so like it pushed me back but i know like this is just skincare mumbo jumbo like the key thing is that I would never judge anybody again for not reading the back of ingredients and I'll try as much as possible to maybe do the research for other people and try and recommend products. I still I I don't have the ginger yet to do that. Like I literally have stops like my what's the word? I I went on a three day break from my skincare um um what do you call it, my skincare Instagram and I'm going to be serious about it again. Like what happened in my office? I'm not mentioning now in case like office people are listening like gave me ginger to actually focus on doing other things and i'm okay Daya has rambled too much where was i influence is more important than intelligence the fact that you're able to move a certain a large quantity of society that is more important than the facts because in the grand scheme of things whether it's bullshit or it's facts that you said it's going to it doesn't matter because even though both of them can cause great wars the wars in the larger scales of things mean nothing to the earth they mean stuff to you they mean stuff to the people that died but it doesn't mean anything to the earth and that's okay but no also and there's something that i always want to put put out there and i continue to put out there and i said in the first time this is so rambling and horrible um knowing is not feeling just because you know just because you're aware of anything that has been proven on every any fact that doesn't mean you cannot fall victim to it and knowing that you can fall victim to it makes it makes you less hard on yourself this was all over the place and i'm not going to edit it so like sorry but like week 12 three months i'm very sure it's going to be much better in my one year mark so end of segment In this segment, I'll be talking about we, not we. I don't know. I how do you do? How do you capitalize? Capitalize thing. Basically, a look at sub societies. I know that I have mentioned and like I have defined what a sub society is in like the different, um, what's the word? In the different like, in the different segments before this. But like, it's important to look at our like our but look at what we call a society. What I call a society because basically I'm giving my own point of view. What I call a society is anything that affects me, anything that I am a part of. In grand scheme and like and my amount of significance to it. My family is a society unto me. And this reminds me because I get so caught up in the idea of big things that I cannot change, which is one of the reasons why I decided to take up stoicism and remind myself about how everything is actually pointless regardless of the scale. That's optimistic nihilism. I I understand that. I understand that. Okay, there is rambling and lost, and she still that isn't good at editing. I understand that people are special, and it's not. It's important to not get caught up either in the small things or in the big things. This I think this is going to like tie in Ubuntu with optimistic nihilism. When someone is caught up in the small things. When someone is caught up in the small things, they totally forget that there are bigger things they should be worried about. And when somebody is caught up in the in the big things, they forget that there are small things that matter. Like 
I have a tendency to get caught up in the big things and feel hopeless because it's in the idea that oh my god the small thing is swallowed by the big thing but understanding that because let's say the small thing is zero point infinity one then the big thing is zero point almost infinity like zero point infinity two they are both so insignificant in the grand scheme of things what i like the grand scale of human life i know i'm i'm trying to i should probably start a youtube channel to do this better because i'm so jumpy up and down so like the grand scale of human what's the word the grand scale of human identity is insignificant to the grand scale of the earth the grand scale of the earth is insignificant to the grand scale of the galaxy the grand scale of the galaxy is insignificant to the grand scale of the universe and like that like that basically i don't know what comes after universe so like it's important to realize that small things are equally as important as big things because both of them are insignificant I, I don't like it's just a fun realization it makes everything less stressful but don't forget that you can forget don't forget that you will not always remember this fact because your emotions are there your emotions are real to you this is me telling myself shit um your emotions are there your emotions are real to you so it's important that anytime you want to implement something as i you focus on we not we you focus on your sub society not the society when i think of the society when i think of the concept of a society humans we must be included so i think of the society as all of humanity i cannot influence all of humanity i don't think anybody like even somebody who calls himself a supreme leader in some country somewhere even though he has power over some over his entire domain even people in his domain will not feel influenced by him they will not feel like their lives are dictated by him because they are insulated in a point that he are not on his priority list at the moment or they feel they do, they will never have to deal with that kind of person because let's say their family is already on the good side let's use i don't know china as an example let's say you are a middle class han chinese family that lives in a city with loyal government i don't think the decisions of the upper ecclion will ever affect you like the same way i have lived in nigeria the fact that there's no good road there's no whatever that is always going to affect me but it's their inaction that is affecting me not their action so to speak i don't know i don't know that's the one thing that is awesome about like looking for philosophies like it's all just ideas i don't know (laughs) which is really cool i guess so where was i where was i um talking about sub societies and societies so let's define a sub society the sub society so to speak is you and yourself the arguments you have with yourself the opinions you have of yourself the the battle for supremacy you have with yourself that is the smallest sub society to to me the society of self <laughs> so cool i feel so like philosophical saying shit like this um the society of self that is to me then your family units your family units may not necessarily be made up of people that you are biologically related to is that the right word i don't know like people that you share like blood with i don't know man it can be like your tiny tiny friend group and people need to remember that they are part of a complex society so far there's some it can be a temporary society like your project team is a society any thing that you are a part of is the society that you are part of i'm part of the society of human beings i'm part of the society of citizens of nigeria but i'm also part of the society of residents of nigeria but not all residents of nigeria are citizens of nigeria and all that vibe so in the interest of i won't say the interest of that society i think the interest of the individuals in that society can influence the society's total interest so i think it's important to start with your sub society push ideas push like your i don't know 
your agenda until your society influence is more important than facts not that <laughs> okay the key thing even though i'm saying that influence is more important than fact i want to push like remember that cross kazakh video on optimistic nihilism and when this christian did a clap back and i was like grossed out because whatever beliefs anybody can twist it to whatever they feel like it even if it's clear cut human beings will always find a way to twist it because if they see a belief that is, has a tendency to move people to push people to to encourage like it's a kind of growth human beings will always try to manipulate it to suit their agenda do you get like either they completely abandon the belief because they find no way to use it or they melt it to make sure they feel good do you get i keep saying do you get but like that is one thing that is one thing so it's important to recognize try and try and focus on a sub on your sub society on the sub society you are part of that is important to you and try to influence it i say there's a massive society massive sub society of being a woman now what kind of woman am i i'm an african woman and again i can look at this in different points of view i can be a, a black woman i can be a a woman from a developing country i can be like depends on you like how you define yourself like let's say society of african women mechanical engineers who sort of work who find themselves working in um qms <laughs> lol or society of 23 year olds or society of people under 23 to 27 like demographics are in my opinion kind of like a society so if you are trying to influence your demographic you're trying to influence a certain aspect of the society this the, the society is all of humanity so that's what i just wanted to do like in this like um in this sub segments where i just clarify what i consider a sub society because in my opinion the society is all of humanity and influencing all of humanity is kind of hard because even up to now people are still denying the fact that people who freaking fly are denying the fact that the world is round yeah so like bye <laughs> any year versus i won't hear i would not say him him or her versus them but like what like if you think of if you think of uh, there is no gender neutral term that is singular in english which is weird like really really weird <laughs> but like any year or i want you basically him or her or them because i'm using them as a plural or what have you so basically i'm talking about the enemy so to speak who is the enemy because anyway there is the enemy no matter how you're looking at it and what do i define as the enemy i find the enemy as anybody that is against your goals i'm not talking about in a supernatural sense i'm not talking about in a whatever sense the enemy is somebody against your goal that is my definition of the enemy like for example it is easiest to say okay if you look at i don't know an easy topic to like oh, it's not an easy topic but like an easy topic to identify the enemy let's say you are african and you are you have african descent you're black anybody who has the idea that you are not deserving of full human rights that is the enemy that's that is somebody that because naturally you as a, like even if you are a pick me person even if you are a what's the word even if you are a pick me person even if you are the kind of person to react negatively to the what's the word the negative part of the people in your the negative um i do like what i was saying in the first segment the negative um the negative actions of if of individuals within your sub society even if you are the kind of person to react in a pick me manner in a I'm not like the others manner. Anybody that doesn't want you in your sub society to enjoy an improved standard of living or quality of life is the enemy. Regardless of your reaction to it, like that is my definition of an enemy. Anybody who is against what you want. Now the key reason why I'm using what you want, I, like instead of just being like on 
kumbaya happy dandy we only want good things sometimes you want a bad thing and the people that are trying to stop you are your enemy so in the end i don't know i like to think of me myself as only wanting good things but by understanding that people want the things they want they want them they may not they may need them but like you can need the things you want but you don't necessarily um like you don't necessarily need all the things you want but you can but you have to want all the things you need no no no, no. that's bullshit sometimes people want things they don't like need things they don't want but then again that is a long conversation to be had because who are you to say that they don't know what they need that's bullshit like how would you like when i'm thinking of needs i'm thinking food housing shelter everybody wants that so and everybody needs that before that i went off point so like who is the enemy let us frame the enemy we frame the enemy as somebody who is against your ideals and your goals who doesn't want you to succeed and i'm sure people are thinking succeed as in money whatever ordinary you want to go and buy pepper somebody who wants to buy the last pepper and you want to buy the last pepper there is the enemy and you people have to like do a price so i know that's a bullshit scenario but like i think i was clear enough with the idea of what the enemy is or who the enemy is what's the next thing um the enemy i know i have a lot to say but it never really crossed my mind when i'm actually recording so like but like let's go on the enemy how do we attack the enemy by understanding that people are complex by understanding that even though people are complex they may not necessarily offer you the same courtesy that's another reason why people that's one of the main reasons why some people may be against your goal particularly if it's looking forward to like having equal rights or improving your standard of living because this individual who is against your goal if your goal is good does not see you as a complex individual but it's important that in order to properly strike down your enemy i'm feeling so cool and pastorish in order to properly strike down your enemy you need to see them as the complex human being that they are that way i'm not saying oh maybe we can empathize and oh my god their life was hard too no they're the enemy you want to fucking strike them down you want to prevent them from being able to achieve their goal because their goal is directly clashing with your goals do you feel me <laughs> i think i don't know i'm being cool i guess oh, that's a lot um the enemy i keep saying the enemy the enemy the enemy because i don't know i, I have a lot to say but they've not been conceptualized into a sentence which is something that I ought to have done before the end of this thing. I don't know. I mean, scattered human. I will improve, it says on, on the three months mark. But I got to three months, didn't I? So anyway, ugh, the enemy must be destroyed, so to speak. Not necessarily, I'm not saying destroyed as in, as in kill them or whatever. I'm saying like they must be made unable to achieve their goals. However you do that... It's just important to recognize the individual that is the enemy, whether it's the individual or the individuals that make up the system that wants to fuck you up. It's important that you understand that that is the enemy. The, that's the person you should be against. That's the person who wants to ruin everything for you. That's the enemy. <laughs> like, yes, the enemy. So I don't know. I don't have much to say. But now that I properly defined the enemy by being, I don't know, repetitive and tautology everywhere, it's important to understand that by understanding that people are complex, you'll be able to achieve your goals by destroying your enemy, I guess. I don't know, that has been tautology. I will revisit this because I feel this is a very important something that has come up and it's something that I have to look into for a very long time. that was Dio's rambling for the week I'm going to find myself I'm going to try and improve okay because something happened in my office that I, I don't think I can say but it gave me ginger because like what's the word um checking from last week I did not achieve anything okay I achieved some of what I I said I was going to do I decided to slow down my posting rates in, on my um on my instagram page for three times a week i I, i'm posting skincare shit on my instagram well 
but like something happened that has gingered me like i don't know it's something negative to somebody but like it has gingered me to remind me that okay i want to fucking like move out (laughs) of like where i am not my house like my life space so like it has gingered me to look for more opportunities so i'm like okay yeah i'm gingered i can move forward like it's it's been a long time coming die or be gingered don't fall into your routine and that kind of stuff so like this is just me like identifying my place in society i guess i don't remember what i was talking about in the last like 40 minutes but like it's understanding what i am like isn't that the whole point of like developing a personal code of conduct you have to know like what you are where you are in like the floating in the seven billion of us I said that you are because you are. I am because I am or one of those bullshit philosophy things now. Like I'm here and I deserve and I want better. I won't, nobody deserves anything. You can drop dead and that will be fine. Like I'm here and I want stuff. So whoever is preventing me from the stuff I want is the enemy. But I always I but I feel like I have made a decision for the personal to personally temper myself that the things I want should not harm society. It should, but then again, the things I want my my improve society in my own vision. In the vision of somebody else, they will feel like I'm harming society. And then that person becomes the enemy because they're against my goals. But like that, I wanted to close out with that because I I don't know. I'm just happy. Like I don't know if it will last, but like I'm gingered, <laughs> and I was like, that's where I am. I'm one month almost a month like two weeks okay three weeks since i turned 23 and i'm like okay i've got like 50 more weeks and i think yes count 50 weeks till i turn 24 daya must have done something and i'm yeah 50 weeks till daya turns 21 24 yeah it's going oh daya's getting older i'm getting fresher skin so like bye so next week i don't know what we're going to talk about next week but like as it happens and i'm glad that i've I've been consistent we've been around for three months i think i'll be started on november 8th that was the first like the first episode so three months so like yeah bye and it's been a personal code of conduct bye